Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Brady Man Studios, and in this video, I wanted to make, uh, I just wanted to make a short video of what the start network scene behaviors are. So basically, whenever you start up a scene, we no longer have, uh, in version 15 and beyond, we no longer have uh, override for awake, start, and update. So some of the things that happened inside of the awake and the start were setting up network uh, stuff, but now that no, long, no longer happens, it happens uh, in a whole separate setup. So there is a possibility where there are some objects in here. Let's say that we had this uh, cube here, and this cube was networked, so we'll add a simple networked model behavior to it. So this cube is networked. However, when the scene starts up, the cube is disabled. And because of this, we have no idea how to grab, uh, we have no way of grabbing this cube that isn't deprecated inside of Unity. Uh, and so this cube will not be able to be set up on the network when it starts up. So any RPCs or anything like that that comes across the network uh, won't be added to this object or called from this object. So inside of the networking manager that you'll have in the scene, there's a start networked scene behaviors, and you can drag in those uh, behaviors that you want to get set up on start. Uh, this is mainly created for objects that are disabled on start or anything like that. However, you can put all of your uh, networked objects or network derived objects into this if you want to be safe. Um, but again, it's really for those objects that are disabled on start. Um, and this is only for scene objects. You don't want to put prefabs or anything in there, just pure scene objects. So that's basically what that is. Uh, some people had some trouble finding that or figuring out what it did, so I wanted to make a quick video on it. If you have any questions, please let us know, and thanks for watching.